I want to talk to you today about what's in my camera bag. People have asked me, so I'm going to show you. So, I have a Canon T3i Rebel. Sometimes I forget the numbers. Um, okay, so what I did was I put a Nikon 1.4 film lens, 1.4 film lens. This is one of the best lenses in the world. You do have to focus it though. Um, but here it is on the digital body. Takes great pictures, takes great video. Really happy with this camera. Have done a lot of professional assignments, assignments with it. Um, and this lens is incredibly clear. Okay, this is one of my main ones. Oh, and I also, when I do video, I use this Nikon little tiny baby microphone. Works great, but you can't get that far away. You can only go up to like six to eight feet, and that's kind of pushing it. Uh, but good for my purposes, I've got an 8200 lens. This is when you want to get really far away from people. Or you want a very cool landscape shot with the sun setting and what a telephoto lens does is compress everything. It's got all these layers of glass and it compresses. This is why fashion photographers use this because if you have deep set eyes, it'll bring your eyes out. If you have something far away, it brings it forward. I've had this for 35 years. This is also an icon film lens and you can use it on a T3i. You do have to get this special this special focusing ring. I think it's like $50 or something. This one, Kerplunk, the kit lens went, the autofocus stopped working on it. And the manual focus on my Nikon is better. So I don't use this anymore. It's not a bad lens. It's the 55 to 85. No, it's the 18 to 55. Okay, now two other things I have. This camera is amazing. The Lumix made by Panasonic. It has a Leica lens. The reason it's cool is because the Leica, they make range finders for guns. So they are the coolest lenses in the world. Nikon is maybe just almost as good. You can get this camera and do pro jobs with it. I did a five-star hotel with it and they paid me. They were very happy with their pictures. The littleness, don't be fooled. Okay, but it's gotta be the, I don't even know if they're making this one anymore, DMC LX5 Panasonic. They're making new ones, but make sure it has the Leica lens. It's all about the lens people, not the camera body. Be sure you get the Leica lens. Okay, now, I have this amazing camera, the Hero 3 Plus. I love this camera. Now, GoPro, I had the Hero 2. It's not in here because I use it for underwater a lot and the housing on the Hero 2 is blurry. So, Hero 3, you can take this underwater. I've been shooting dolphins. It's really good. And it's so tiny and it has three wide settings so you can choose the hero 2 didn't have that really good now there's no place to put a microphone the hero 2 has that so I would say if you need to insert a microphone go with the older one or one that you can put a microphone on because that is perfect for that I don't have the hero 2 with me because I haven't been using it now one more thing a lot of people don't know about this close-up lens. You can put this on a 50 and be like this far away from something and get an amazing picture. This costs about $110 by Nikon. They still make them, um, so you put that on the back of your lens. Now, because I have the Canon, I have to still have, here it is. This is the ring that you have to buy. I think it's like 30 bucks. It goes on the back of your film lenses so it can attach to the Canon or other cameras. You look under a uh, lens, uh, what do you call it, rings, focusing, you'll find it. It's in BH Hansen, it's on Amazon, that's where I got mine, so let's see, is there anything else? Make sure you carry this just in case there's something you don't know, because it's not very self-explanatory. I can take a camera and figure it out in about less than five minutes, but once in a while there's something that you don't get. So this actually, the other ones I haven't had to look at the manual, but this one I did. 
Okay, what else is there? I think that's it. Some people use these. I hardly ever use it. I have it in here, but I don't use it. It's a focusing, um, it's a polarizing filter. It can be cool if you're in the Caribbean or Hawaii and you want to get water. It, it helps a lot. I went to Bora Bora without it the first time and then the next two times I took it. So it's a polarizer and it is really amazing for water. So that one goes on my 80 to 200, which is my telephoto. So that's it, folks. Listen, if you have any questions, comment below. Share this if you know somebody needs some help with their camera equipment. I switched from film to digital three years ago. So I have a unique perspective on this because I've used both. And there's a lot to learn with digital. Um, film I really feel was simpler but it's a it's I have a film approach to shooting um, but with digital you've got a lot more cameras and things that you can buy to use for what you want to get so thank you and I'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and to uh, let me know if you have any questions comment below see you later